If you've ever been to a birthday party, you can bet your bottom dollar that, at some point, either an adult or child, but most likely both, will untie a floating balloon, inhale the helium inside, and speak like they're auditioning for a lead role in a remake of Alvin and the Chipmunks. Everyone will laugh. People start lining up for their turn to speak in a squeaky high-pitched voice. Harmless fun. If you're just inhaling one balloon's worth of helium, that is. But what happens if you inhale 10 balloons? Or 100? What if you got stuck speaking with a high-pitched voice forever? Or perhaps you get so light and buoyant that you'll simply float off into the atmosphere? Okay, fine. Neither of those things will happen, probably, but we don't know for sure unless we find out. So here goes. Helium itself is a colorless, odorless gas with a bunch of unique scientific properties. To most of us, however, its most important property is that it makes your voice sound really funny. This happens because helium is a far lighter gas than oxygen, so it allows sound waves to travel through it at a higher speed. This lightness is the same reason helium is used in balloons, since it floats far longer than most other gases. While it's actually the second most common element in the universe after hydrogen, helium is surprisingly rare on Earth. It plays a huge role in the functionality of several important scientific and medical machines, such as superconductors and MRIs. So the fact that helium levels are declining could have a wide-scale effect on the medical industry and our ability to treat diseases. But we'll save that for another video. When you inhale helium, a number of reactions take place within your body. The helium itself begins to displace any oxygen in your system, resulting in a dizziness and lightheadedness comparable to holding your breath for a very long time. However, breathing helium can be much more dangerous than not breathing at all. While you generally remain alive and conscious for a good couple of minutes without breathing thanks to the oxygen in your blood and lungs, helium inhalation can actually make you pass out in a matter of seconds. That's because the helium replaces the oxygen in your lungs and bloodstream, quickly cutting off oxygen supplies to vital organs such as your brain. Of course, how you're inhaling helium plays a huge role too. Doing it straight out of a pressurized tank can be really dangerous. The intense pressure and speed of delivery means it's possible you could rupture a lung or even give yourself air embolism, which occurs when a gas bubble gets into your blood and reaches your brain, causing seizures and even strokes. As a result, it's recommended that if you do decide to breathe in helium, you put it in a balloon first and then inhale it. How many balloons worth of helium can you inhale before it seriously damages your body? The answer to that ranges from person to person. Some people can inhale several balloons worth of helium and emerge dizzy, but unscathed. Others have died from just one. However, this is admittedly pretty rare since in most cases you would pass out well before dying, at which point you would hopefully begin breathing regular air again and start reoxygenating your lungs. The lethality of helium isn't necessarily related to quantity, but more to duration. For most people, one big pull of a balloon won't have any long-term consequences, provided they don't fall unconscious and hit their head on a nearby table or something like that, and then they can take several breaths of regular air after. However, breathing exclusively helium for multiple breaths is very dangerous. More than six seconds of helium inhalation will begin to deprive your brain of oxygen, and if you continue past this point, you'll suffer serious brain damage or even death. Tragically, multiple people have suffered the lethal consequences of helium inhalation in recent years. In 2012, a 14-year-old girl was hospitalized and later pronounced dead after inhaling a helium balloon at a party with some friends. Just six years earlier, two college students were found dead inside a giant helium balloon in Florida, a situation in which they likely quickly fell unconscious and were unable to escape to fresh air due to the concentration of helium. As a result, people have started taking helium quite seriously. A school in Fleming County, Kentucky suspended a 13-year-old for three days after he was caught inhaling helium from a balloon. Realistically, dying from balloon-facilitated helium inhalation is rare, but it is not impossible with only two recorded fatalities between the years of 2000 and 2004. So if you find yourself at a birthday party and just can't resist doing your famous Donald Duck impression, oh, everyone loves it. Just be aware that in doing so, you'll be depriving yourself of oxygen for a short period of time. Make sure you sit down so that if you do end up falling unconscious, you don't hurt yourself. And make sure to take several deep breaths of regular air before you take a hit of the helium. If you see someone suffering from a helium overdose, try to get them to breathe in fresh air and they should be right as rain shortly after. However, if they're not able to breathe, you should seek medical assistance as soon as possible, since not breathing is, as the professionals say, 
bad. In theory, you can inhale 1,000 balloons worth of helium, provided you take a break between each one to get your oxygen levels back to normal. That said, it's probably for the best that you just put down the balloons and avoid breathing helium altogether. Sure, it'll make you sound like a cute and cuddly animated character, but is that worth the risk? Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and head on over to the Brainiac YouTube channel for more crazy content.